hello friends welcome back to automation testing insider.com this is sql tutorial part 12 and today we are going to talk about an important topic that is sql joins so this is very important topic in sql and uh, in interview also it's very important because interviewer uh, definitely uh, ask the question based on sql joins uh, interviewer is used to you know uh, write the queries based on sql joins most of the times so this is very very important topic so today we'll talk about the theoretical stuff like what is sql join what are the different types of sql joins okay syntax of sql join we'll talk about primary key and foreign key and i'll show you uh, with the help of example as well and uh, i'll write a simple sql join today and from from the next video onwards we'll talk about uh, different types of joins in detail so let's get started what is sql join so as uh, a sql join statement is used to combine data or rows from two or more tables based on a common field between them so the name itself uh, says itself join right so joining of two or more tables to get the data from two or more tables generally we used to combine two tables uh, sometimes three tables okay but you can join uh, more than two tables okay two three four whatever you want so sql join statement is used to combine data or rows from two or more tables based on a common field between them so how do we make the relationship between two tables so we should have a common field between them that's uh, how we can combine them so we'll talk about primary key and foreign key uh, foreign key in the uh, later part of this video okay so these are the other definitions like we have a join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them and these two other uh, definition you can just go through it and what are the different types of sql joins we have uh, right in sql so we have six types sql inner join and this is also called simple join if you write like simple join that means inner join only we have sql left outer join we have sql right outer join that is also called right join also a left join uh, to this left outer join and we have sql full outer join this is also called full join and we have self join and we have cross join or cartesian join so we'll talk about them in detail guys from the next video onwards uh, we'll start with sql join in the next video okay so today just basic about the sql joins like what is sql join joins and what are the different types of sql, SQL joins we have and the next next is uh, next is sql join syntax so this is basic syntax of uh, sql join this is how we used to combine two tables we used to write join query so select a a dot table one column one column one from table one comma table one column two column two from table two a is the alias and comma b dot table two column one column one from table two from table one a so this is alias and this is table one right table one a join here we used to write the particular join so in this case this is inner join or simple join or uh, if you want left outer join so you need to just write left join over here join table to b so this is another table on a dot table 1 column 1 is equal to b dot table 2 column 2 so column 1 from table 1 and column 2 from table 2 is the common between these uh, these two tables table 1 and table 2 and if you want to join two or more tables then simply you need to write another condition after this on like here you can write inner join or whatever join you want again table one uh, sorry inner join table three like this and then you have to put again uh, on condition okay to make the relationship between uh, with the third table and you can put where condition specific conditions uh, if you have 
where clause you can put over here and you can put order by keyword as well to order in a specific uh, column order and then you can put group by clause as well okay so in subsequent videos in coming days we will understand different uh, ways to write sql joins okay so yeah now let's talk about primary key and foreign key because to make the relationship between two tables we need primary key and foreign key basically primary key is used to oh sorry uh, foreign key is used to make the relationship between two tables so what is primary key and i think i have already covered this uh, if you go to my blog automation testing .com, just navigate to this database testing so here we have sql part 2 data types operators and constraints so here i have covered about different types of constraints so you can go through about primary key and foreign key so let's understand like what is primary key uniquely identified each rows records in a database table that is called primary key i'll show you in my table in a couple of minutes okay and foreign key what is foreign key so a foreign key is used to maintain relationship between two tables it is a field in one table that refers to the primary key in another table the table with the foreign key is called the child table and the table with the primary key is called the referenced or parent table so we need to make the re relationship right so that's why we need foreign key or some common uh, field in the next table right in the uh, the table which we want to combine so this is my sql uh, server management studio guys so let me show you so just go to databases we have test data and if you remember we have been using this table employee detail and simply you need to just change the database from here and write select star from employee detail this is one table we have and there is another table select star from we have another table project details project details so two tables we have this employee detail table and here we have 13 records where all the uh, employee details are uh, there in this table first name last name salary joining date department gender and here you we have this employee id column and this is defined the primary key in this employee detail table because these are a unique data right one two three four five uniquely identify this particular row uh, column okay so this is employee id's primary key in this employee detail table and uh, we have this project detail table we have three columns over here project id employee id and project name so whatever project are assigned uh, to different employees we have in this project detail table okay so we have project id one two three four five and this is the primary key over here and this is employee id is the foreign key okay so this is child table and this is the parent table and this is foreign key over here okay so let's write sql simple sql query uh, sql join query so select star from employee detail let's see put alias e and uh, yeah inner join or simply you can put join what is my next table project detail p on condition right on e dot we have alias e dot employee id what is the common between these two tables so we have employee id in employee detail table employee ID primary key and we have similar employee id in project detail table as well that is foreign key so this is how we can write simple join query so it retrieves what are the common what is the uh, what are the data between these two tables common data okay matching rows in these two tables so we have eight matching rows so we'll understand about uh, different types of joins from the next video guys so this is very basic about the sql joins for today and uh, yeah from the next video 
we'll talk about what is sql in our join so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye